This view do will walk you through everything you need to know to get your Honda Accord rocking your favorite playlists. But first, here's a look at the tools you'll need to get the job done right. This vehicle currently toggles between the CD player and XM when the CD aux sat button is pushed. When we are finished, the ice link will emulate a CD changer and a new mode, CDC, will show up instead of XM. Before doing anything, it is recommended that you disconnect the negative lead from the car's battery to avoid shorting anything during the install process. Make sure your car's radio code is handy for when you have to restore power. Start by removing the shifter cover to access the screws for the coin tray. Depending on your transmission and trim type, you may need to remove the shift knob to do so. There are four clips holding the cover in place. Start by prying up from the top by the coin tray and the power socket. Your hands should be sufficient and least invasive. Once you pop the two clips, work your fingers down the cover toward the cup holders, maintaining a decent amount of upward force to release the last two clips. If your car has seat heaters installed, remove the wiring harnesses attached to the switches on the shifter cover. With the Phillips head screwdriver, remove the first two screws holding the coin tray and power socket in place. Be sure to keep track of which screws go where for reassembly. Remove the tray liner from the tray. There are two clips holding the plastic coin tray in place. Place your hands underneath the coin tray and push up and toward the back of the car to release them. Remove the now exposed last two screws holding the coin tray in place. Again, reaching from underneath and pushing upward, pop out the coin tray power socket assembly. Remove the wiring harness attached to the power socket. Remove the two screws holding the base of the accessory compartment in. In addition to the two screws at the base, there are two clips toward the top of the compartment on either side of it. With the compartment door open, grab the top of the compartment and pull firmly toward the back of the car. Remove the accessory compartment to expose the bottom of the stereo unit. Using the mirror, get a good look at the wiring harness on the bottom of the stereo unit. If XM is installed in your vehicle, the socket closest to the middle of the stereo will be occupied by the XM wiring harness. This will need to be removed and replaced with the harness for the ice link. With the flathead screwdriver, push the tip of the XM harness toward the front of the car and out of its socket. Push it out of the way to make room for the ice link harness. Note the orientation of the XM harness and orient the ice link harness the same way. Attach the ice link harness to the back of the stereo unit. With the electrical tape, tape the wiring harness for the ice link to an existing cable conduit to keep it out of the way. Align and attach the ice link control unit to the open end of the wiring harness. Now tape the connection to insulate and secure the control unit. For this install, we chose to store the iPod in the accessory compartment. If this is what you want to do, drill a hole in the back corner of the compartment large enough to accommodate the round connector of the iPod cable. Thread the iPod cable through the hole in the compartment and attach it to the end of the ice link control unit. Tuck the ice link control unit where it won't be in the way of any of the pieces that need to go back into place. We chose to place it deep in the console to the left of the shifter assembly. Before reassembly, test the ice link to ensure everything is working properly. Reattach the car battery and connect your iPod. Turn on the stereo and enter your anti-theft code. Hit the CD aux button until CDC shows up on the display. Hit disc plus minus, presets 5 and 6, until you hear music playing. Now let's rock out as we reassemble. Replace the accessory compartment and screw it into place. We attach the wiring harness to the power socket. Replace the coin tray power socket assembly and reset the screws that hold it into place.
snap the coin tray back in, replace the tray liner, and reset the last two screws that hold the assembly in place. Reset the harnesses for the seat heaters if necessary, and snap the shifter cover back into place. Screw the shifter knob back on and tighten the fastener nut with the crescent wrench. Nothing left to do but crank the stereo and hit the road.